90 Minutes in Heaven, the world premiere in Atlanta taking place on September 1st. And this is the morning after that event that took place at the Fox Theater. And we have Don Piper, the author of the best-selling book, 90 Minutes in Heaven, upon which the movie is based, as well as the gentleman that played the role of Don Piper, Hayden Christensen. It's a bit surreal to see the two of you side by side. Don, as you went through the process of working with Rick Jackson and the production team as far as selecting the actors and putting together the cast for this movie, tell me about the selection of Hayden for the role. When I found out he was considering it, I was just uh, delighted. Um, I like his work. Um, he's devilishly handsome. And I figured that would be a great per. No, I really did. <laughs> I was very excited uh, that he was going to be a part. And he, he and you see the film, and it was just it was ordained. I really believe that that because he's just so good in it, and he and and he he suffers for me, and um, and I'll never forget that. I, I'm, I'm delighted that he was in the film. Hayden, as you had the opportunity to review the script and consider being part of this film, tell me about what attracted you to the role. Um, uh, there was so much uh, to the role that I, I found appealing, uh, and I was also intimidated by as well, uh, you know, uh, what Don went through in, in, in his recovery process, uh, and being laid out in a bed for as long as he was. You know, I remember reading the script for the first time, and it was like, uh, by page five or six, the accident had already happened, and there wasn't going to be, you know, too much walking around at that point. But, uh... Uh, no, I, I, I just, you know, I was very affected by the story and, uh, and I, I was a, a fan of the filmmaker and just wanted to be involved. As you prepared for this particular role, as you have got a sense of what Don had experienced, tell me how you really wanted to, um, to prepare for that role and, and what you wanted to communicate through it. Yeah, I just, I, I, it was, you know, a great sense of responsibility uh, playing Don, you know, uh, uh, his story has already affected so many people through his book, and uh, you know, when you when you when you take a story and turn it into a movie, you, you, there's the ability to sort of up the ante a little bit, and uh, so there was just a, a a real sense of responsibility and wanting to get it right, and uh, you know, I I, uh, I I felt honored that they wanted me to play him, um, and I just I hope that I I did you justice. Oh, you did. Don, what were, what were maybe a couple of the pointers that you gave to Hayden as he was into this role and as, you were, as the movie was being filmed? Well, he asked questions. You know, we had uh, several long conversations before we ever even arrived on the, on the set uh, because he really, you could tell by the questions he asked that he really wanted to get into this person's head. And it is, a, it is not just a physical role, a highly physical role, it's a very emotional role, a very, a very um, mental role, because Don's really going through some real mental uh, suffering um, and depression. And so he has a secret that no one else knows, and he's keeping it. So that's part of the process. Uh, uh, and he did an incredible job of, of letting you know that something was going on inside, but he wasn't prepared to talk about it. So. Uh, that's probably mostly what we talked about. Uh, we had some technical things having to do with the device and how that played out. And uh, it's really a hideous thing, and it uh, it's incredibly uh, uh, painful. But it works. You know, I walked in here today. When I finished, I'm walking out. Tell absolutely. Tell me about this device very briefly, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap things up. It's um, it was invented by a Russian doctor in Siberia. Uh, there's so many people who have accidents there, uh, ice, snow, and so they were there were people who were losing their limbs as a result of not being able to uh, uh, save the, the bones were broken, maybe compound fractures. So he invented the device, very ingenious, involves breaking your leg at another place or your arm and stretching the bones to replace the gaps, and uh, it involves large halos of steel with wires and rods going through you. So it works. It is now worldwide. They've made some vast improvements on it in 26 years, thankfully, but it's still wires going through you and out the other side, and it's uh, serious dangers of infection and a lot of other things. So, you know, sometimes you have to go through the difficult part to get to the good part, and uh, we hope that's what happens when the movie uh, premieres, that people will see that even though you're going through a long, dark night, 
you know, the sun does come up. Tell me how you would desire for people to respond to this film. What would you like to see people experience as a result of it? Uh, you know, the experience at the premiere last night was, was pretty magical. Um, uh, if, if we could, if we could have something similar to that, I, I, I'd be okay. But you know, uh, I, I, my hope is that people will walk out of this movie uh, not only with a sense of hope, um, but just feeling better about life, uh, which I think you know is important, especially you know in the climate that we live in today. Sometimes uh, it's important just to have a story told where you feel better about things. Hayden Christensen, Don Piper. Great to visit with the two of you. Thank you so much. Appreciate what you've done. All right. Thank Good you. To see you.